Hi everyone, this is Sarah again from Storybook Designs and I want to finish the conversation on repeats that uh, was started yesterday with the video I posted yesterday. So today I am working on making a shower curtain and in doing so this is a good way for me to demonstrate to you why it is important that you calculate the repeat size when purchasing your fabric and planning out your cuts for a project. So for example I'm working on a shower curtain as I said and the finished length of the shower curtain is 72 inches is what I'm going to need. So when I add in my hems and headings, it's going, my cut length will be 81 inches. Of course it's going to be a lot different. If I was doing drapery I would be adding a lot more, like 16 inches for my hems and headings. My repeat size is 24 and a quarter inches. Um, so I'm going to divide the cut length that I need by the repeat size, which tells me that I need 3.34 pattern repeats. And of course, you can't do a partial pattern repeat, so I need to round up, which means I need four repeats per cut length, which that would allow me to be able to match my pattern across the width at the seams. And so then my yardage needed would be two cuts at 97 inches, which equals a total of 194 inches, so I would need 5.38 yards of fabric. So if you're having somebody make you a shower curtain and they tell you that you need five and a half yards, you may be thinking, how can we possibly use that much fabric? And this is the reason why. So when we do the shower curtain, I do a full width in the center, and then I do a partial width of the fabric on either side. So that's my first cut, and that's my second cut, which I split in half and stitch to either side. So let me show it to you on the fabric. So you can see that this is a very large scale floral, and it does have a good size repeat. So I want you to pay attention to right here where this is at the top and see the amount of space for this floral bouquet. If I was just to go down and cut the 81 inches, 81 inches that I need, that would bring me down to here. And you can see the difference. So I would be cutting right here along this line of the ruler. Now, if you remember up above, I showed you where the fabric fell you can tell that the bouquet is on a totally different point. So I wouldn't be able to join my fabrics at the seams and have them match. So I need to go all the way down to the 97 inches, which brings me down, you can see, to the same point of the floral bouquet. So that my next cut is gonna start here, and then I will be able to bring this up, cut it, and I will be able to join the two fabrics at the seams. Now I haven't cut this yet, but I will attempt to show you with the fabric what I'm going to need to do. <clears throat> Albeit a little bit messy, I apologize. So what has to happen when we are sewing and when we're planning is we need to plan in enough fabric so that we make sure that when we join these at the seams, we can do so in a way that matches the pattern. And if we're really good, which we are, then you hopefully won't even notice that join. So hopefully that makes repeats really clear now, how we use them in our calculations to determine the amount of fabric and why it's important so that we can match the pattern at the seams. So that's all for today. Until next time. Thank you.